the ninth day of the Omer, which the Sfirah is Gvura Sheba Gvura. And to title Gvura Sheba Gvura, I'll say it in Hebrew, then I'll try to translate it. In Hebrew, you would say it, Leit Amitz, Liot Amitz. Strive and work hard to be brave. But in English, it doesn't sound good. In Hebrew, it sounds much, much better. But nevertheless, Leitamets means that you have to go on some uh, endeavor. You want to try to go uh, to strive to do something. And Amitz is when you're brave or uh, courageous for coming from the courage. Now, what does it mean that I have to be brave to be, I have to put a lot of effort to be brave? So we learn that when Moshe Rabbeinu died and Yoshua had to take the nation into Eretz Israel, and Moshe Rabbeinu, of course, gave him, hey, Hashem, the Kadosh Baruch Hu gave Yoshua the orders and the commands what to do, and he kept repeating over and over two words to bring Yoshua the right courage, and he kept telling him, Chazak ve'ematz, Chazak ve'ematz. If you're familiar with the book of Yoshua, then you probably and know what I'm talking about, that he repeats it over and over, chazak ve'ematz, which chazak means you should have strength, and ematz, that you should be brave. So you have to have both the strength and the bravery. Gvura sheba gvura is I need to know when to use my strength and only to subdue and to win evil. If I'm doing it to any other thing, that I'm misusing my strength. And everybody has a certain strength to them. And I just need to know when to use that strength. And if I'm using it, or I should say better misusing it, then I'm bringing a blemish to the power for the koach that Hashem gave me. But if Hashem already gave me strength in something, it's only to use it to win evil. But I have in me this powerful strength now Hashem says, now let's see you using it the right way. And the question is, there's two questions. First of all, if I'm aware of my strength. And I believe, from what I see, based on my experience, that most people are not even aware of their strength. They don't even know that they're strong in this department. But now comes another question. Let's say you are aware of your strength. Do you know how to use it? With that said, when do I use the Gvura? I need to know when to use it. Sometimes you use too much gvura, you can crush somebody. Can you imagine a person with a lot of force using too much force? Then uh, the damage can be unbelievable. I also need to know when to use this gvura. And the only time I need to use gvura in me is when I'm dealing with something evil. So nothing happens in my life by chance. There's an order in my life. And usually when Hashem wants to see how I'm applying my gvura, He will throw at me a challenge. And the, the more the challenge is hard, the more I have power of Gvura in me to overcome it. So if I'm dealing now with a very big challenge, you can think of whatever challenge you have in your life. If Hashem gave you a big challenge, means that there's enough Gvura in you to deal with it. If not, He wouldn't give you such a thing. We think that we're weak, but the reality is, Kechol Shea Nisayon Gover, the more the challenge or, or the power that is opposing you is strong, means that Hashem also gave you the right power to use it. 